honeycomb material. Outside is a plastic and the inside looks like wood. Okay, yes, and we'll show you some more of that kind of stuff. And it definitely is a composite. And this is the kind of stuff she's put dense. Oh, it's real light. Real light, okay, stiff. Yes, very stiff. Quite stiff. So it's got glass fiber and epoxy on the outside and a honeycomb composite on the inside. And we use that kind of stuff on the inside of airplanes to build those structures that have to be lightweight and, you know, the bathroom wall or whatever it is. Uh, uh, so it's lightweight, strong, stiff <coughs> structure and takes a little bit good stuff. You, problem child, <laughs> she has the spark plug. And the spark plug really isn't a composite, it's, it's an assembly. So it has different parts, but we haven't modified the ceramic with the metal. The metal is all metal, the ceramic is all ceramic, but they're put together each to serve their own purpose. The ceramic is, is our electrical insulator and behaves nicely like a ceramic, and the metal conducts electricity through for our spark, and in fact there are different metals in there. So actually you don't belong in any group. Oh. 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 But, oh. but, but, it's a wonderful thing. Do I get to leave? No. <laughs> You're the exception, okay? Because the exception allows us then to talk about our classifications even more strongly. And we have to be a little careful with this, this activity because we don't want people kicked out of groups because of personalities. It's because of the materials that we're doing this and it sharpens the focus on what is a composite, the polymer, mm -hmm. ceramic, and, and metal. 